What is up guys, Enigmatic Myth here, back again with another Thumbnail Maker episode for you guys. This is episode 2, I'm going to be working on a thumbnail that I'm going to possibly be working on for a video that I will be doing in the future. Not exactly sure when I'm going to take the time to start recording this gameplay again, I've done it once before. Um, I, I might just do it on a harder difficulty since I did it on easy and... Um, so yeah, uh, let's just go into it. Let me just actually let me go find the files that I want to use first. Okay, so I have my three uh, images that I'm going to use. I'm going to use my background, which is this one right here, as you see in the screen. Uh, I'm going to be using this preacher type of horror-looking type of guy character, and I'm going to use the Outlast Outlast whistleblower um, logo. But the thing is that it says whistleblower at the bottom, but we can always fix that later. First, what I want to do is I want to erase uh, some of the stuff around the guy because this won't. Uh, if you, I could just show you. I, you know, you go to uh, edit, select all, go again, press copy. You go to your background image. If you go to edit and and put paste into new layer, you're gonna have this white background towards it, and it looks retarded. So let's just get a, get that white stuff around it out of the way. You go to your wand, uh, and you select it. Pretty much just you know erases anything around it. Sometimes it might not work 100% for the simple fact that you see this part out here was white. Sometimes if the image doesn't, you know, mesh well or it's not done correctly, anything that's white inside of the image will uh, erase. So, you know, so I'm going to erase the eyeballs, um, delete that. I'm not really going to use that, but I'm just in case, you know, maybe I might want to use it. If you guys hear any noise in the background, I do apologize is that my windows are open and I'm not going to close them just to make this thumbnail video. Uh, it's hot as balls here, even though it's the mid it's mid December here in New York and I'm sweating, you know, bricks over here. Um, so I'm going to go and paste into new layer. So you, now the background is pretty much out of the way. Um, I want to what I'm thinking about is positioning him towards the middle and have his grin. Yeah, like something like that and that nature. And a little bit more on this side to make them more you know, something like this. Uh, it says we do have a preacher type guy in the game. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that. What I want to do now is adjust um, the blurs. I want to do a surface blur. I think that's the one. So I'm going to do probably eight. Maybe. Is that even the one? No, I don't think that's it. Um. So we're going to go back to blurs. Um, maybe it's an unfocus. Uh, yeah, this is actually the one that I want to do. And this one I want to do into an eight. Probably an eight. So you can get that, you know, still notice that it's a, cr a cross and he's a preacher. And I think that looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, so we got that out the way. Um, and this thumbnail is real easy. It's really, really simple. Not something that's too extravagant. You know, I see a lot of YouTubers that go out there and they have, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars software. When you can get this one for free, you can always hit the description box below. And uh, I'll link it to the website where you can download this software for free. And it does pretty much, you know, basic things. Not something like Photoshop or Adobe Premiere or whatever they're using or whatever the hell it they, is they're using. But you go and you you copy. If you select one spot, like not the whole thing, you just copy that that um, particular image that you want to copy. You go to your other image, and then as usual, you just go and press paste into new layer, and just make it a little bit bigger. Um, nah, I don't know. I'm not really feeling this anymore. This is if you guys can see. If um if I go and I do this, you have that little line at the bottom, which isn't a big deal because once the thumbnail goes to the size of the video, you're not really gonna tell that it's there. But me being a perfectionist, I don't want that there like that. So what I'm really gonna do right now is try to find another image of Outlast. So let me find another image and uh we'll come right back to this. Alright, so I'm gonna try this one. Um, it's already been pretty much, you know, uh, black blanked out or erased in the background. So I'm just going to select this one. Hopefully this one works because I, I'm getting pretty fed up with this stuff already. I think I used this one already. No. 
think this one might be it, guys. This one's a little bit more, um, not, I wouldn't say a sharper or more clearer, but I mean, it doesn't give us a white or a different color outline as the other ones before. So I think that's pretty much it. I think that's going to be our thumbnail for this episode. Um, it was real simple, a little bit, um, uh, kind of like, I don't know, discouraging because a lot of images are so small in resolution. You try to look for some high def ones and you can't really find them. You have to always find the ones that are high def resolution and then edit everything out yourself. But doing it this way, it really isn't that bad. Again, when you shrink it down, it's going to give you that, uh, crisp thumbnail look. And it's going to look beautiful once you have your, you know, video and you upload this as a custom thumbnail. It's going to look extremely good, extremely beautiful. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this thumbnail maker episode two. If you guys enjoy this series, please give this a thumbs up. Let's get this one to at least 10 likes. So I can continue another one to do episode three. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.